The Gohanzen, a sacred mandala central to Nichiren Buddhism, stands as a profound symbol of Nichiren's teachings. This object of devotion, typically a hanging scroll or wooden tablet, embodies the essence of Nichiren's revolutionary interpretation of Buddhist philosophy. To understand the Gohanzen is to delve deep into the heart of Nichiren's vision for human enlightenment and universal peace. The Gohanzen represents the ultimate reality of life as expounded by Nichiren. It's not merely a religious artifact but a dynamic representation of the enlightened state of Buddhahood inherent in all life. Nichiren himself described it as the banner of propagation of the Lotus Sutra, emphasizing its role in spreading the teachings he believed would lead to the enlightenment of all beings. The Gohanzen's power lies not in its physical form but in what it symbolizes. Nichiren wrote, Never seek this Gohanzen outside yourself. The Gohanzen exists only within the mortal flesh of us ordinary people who embrace the Lotus Sutra and chant Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This profound statement underscores a key aspect of Nichiren's teachings, that Buddhahood is not an external state to be achieved, but an internal reality to be awakened to. The central inscription on the Gohanzen, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, encapsulates the essence of Nichiren's teachings. This phrase, often referred to as the Daimoku, represents the mystic law of cause and effect pervading the universe. By chanting this phrase before the Gohanzen, practitioners align themselves with this fundamental law, awakening their inherent Buddha nature. Surrounding the central inscription are various Sanskrit characters and names, each representing different aspects of the Buddha's enlightenment or key figures from the Lotus Sutra. This arrangement is not random but carefully designed to reflect the mutual possession of the Ten Worlds, a concept central to Nichiren's teachings. According to this principle, each of the Ten Worlds, from Hell to Buddhahood, contains all the others, illustrating the potential for enlightenment present in every life state. Daisaku Ikeda explains, the Gohanzen is a mandala that shows the realm of the Buddha's enlightenment. It reveals to us that we ourselves are entities of the mystic law, embodiments of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This interpretation emphasizes the Gohanzen's role not as an object of worship, but as a mirror reflecting our own innate Buddha nature. The Gohanzen's design also symbolizes the concept of 3,000 realms in a single moment of life, another key principle in Nichiren's teachings. This complex philosophical concept suggests that all phenomena in the universe exist simultaneously in a single moment of life. The various inscriptions on the Gohanzen represent these myriad phenomena, all centered around and united by Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. Nichiren's emphasis on the Gohanzen as a focal point for practice was revolutionary in his time. Unlike many Buddhist schools that focused on difficult ascetic practices or complex philosophical study, Nichiren taught that enlightenment could be achieved through faith in the Lotus Sutra as embodied in the Gohanzen, and the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This democratization of Buddhist practice is reflected in Nichiren's words, Those who believe in the Lotus Sutra are as if in darkness, but when they hear the voice of one who chants Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, they open their eyes to the great pure light of the Buddha. The Gohanzen, as the physical representation of this teaching, became a powerful tool for bringing the possibility of enlightenment to all people, regardless of their social status or level of education. The Gohanzen also symbolizes Nichiren's teachings on the oneness of the person and the law. In Nichiren Buddhism, there is no separation between the practitioner and the object of devotion. As one chants before the Gohanzen, they are not appealing to an external power but awakening their own innate Buddha nature. This principle is encapsulated in Nichiren's statement, when we revere Myoho Renge Kyo inherent in our own life as the object of devotion, the Buddha nature within us is summoned forth and manifested by our chanting of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This concept of the Gohanzen as a mirror of our own life is further elaborated by Jose Toda, who said, the Gohanzen is a great mirror that reflects our lives. When we look at the Gohanzen, we should see reflected there our own lives dedicated to Kosen Rufu, world peace through individual happiness. This interpretation emphasizes the Gohanzen's role not just in personal transformation, 
but in the broader mission of creating a peaceful world through the spread of Nichiren's teachings. The Gohanzen symbolism extends beyond individual practice to encompass Nichiren's vision for society and the world. The arrangement of characters on the Gohanzen, with protective forces surrounding the central Daimoku, represents the ideal of establishing a peaceful society based on the principles of the Lotus Sutra. This aspect of the Gohanzen reflects Nichiren's belief that personal enlightenment and societal transformation are inextricably linked. Nichiren's teachings, as symbolized by the Gohanzen, also emphasize the importance of faith, practice, and study. The faith aspect is represented by the act of enshrining and respecting the Gohanzen. Practice is embodied in the act of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo before it. Study is encouraged to deepen one's understanding of the principles represented by the Gohanzen. This threefold approach to Buddhist practice is a hallmark of Nichiren's teachings, aimed at fostering comprehensive personal growth and societal contribution. The Gohanzen also symbolizes Nichiren's teachings on the principle of changing poison into medicine. This concept suggests that life's challenges and sufferings can be transformed into causes for growth and happiness through Buddhist practice. The Gohanzen, as a representation of the enlightened life state, serves as a reminder of this potential for transformation in every aspect of life. Nichiren wrote, Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo no matter what happens. The Gohanzen stands as a constant presence in practitioners' lives, embodying this teaching and providing a focal point for maintaining one's practice through life's ups and downs. The Gohanzen's role in Nichiren's teachings extends to the concept of observing the mind. This practice involves reflecting on one's own mental state and behavior in light of Buddhist principles. The Gohanzen serves as a tool for this self-reflection, its various inscriptions reminding practitioners of different aspects of Buddhist philosophy and encouraging them to examine their lives in relation to these teachings. Nichiren's emphasis on the Gohanzen as a representation of the mystic law also reflects his teachings on the nature of reality. He taught that all phenomena are manifestations of the mystic law, and that by awakening to this truth, one could lead a life of profound meaning and fulfillment. The Gohanzen, as a physical embodiment of this law, serves as a constant reminder of this fundamental truth of existence. The concept of Ichinen Sanzen, or, 3000 realms in a single moment of life, is also represented in the Gohanzen. This complex philosophical idea suggests that all possibilities of life exist in each moment. The various inscriptions on the Gohanzen symbolize these myriad potentials, all centered around and unified by Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This arrangement reflects Nichiren's teaching that the entirety of life's possibilities are contained within each individual's life, waiting to be manifested through Buddhist practice. The Gohanzen also embodies Nichiren's teachings on the importance of taking action in the real world. While it serves as a focus for spiritual practice, its ultimate purpose is to inspire practitioners to manifest their Buddha nature in their daily lives and interactions with others. This emphasis on practical application of Buddhist principles is a key aspect of Nichiren's teachings, reflected in the dynamic nature of the Gohanzen as a tool for both inner reflection and outward action. In exploring the symbolism of the Gohanzen, it's crucial to understand that its power does not lie in the physical object itself but in the principles it represents and the practice it inspires. Nichiren was clear on this point, stating, The power of the Gohanzen is truly great. Those who believe in it will surely attain Buddhahood in this lifetime. That is why the Sutra states, After I have passed into extinction, one should accept and uphold this Sutra. Such a person assuredly and without doubt will attain the Buddha way. This statement underscores the Gohanzen's role as a catalyst for spiritual transformation, not as an object of worship in itself. It symbolizes the potential for enlightenment inherent in all life, serving as a mirror reflecting the practitioner's own Buddha nature. Through faith in and practice before the Gohanzen, Nichiren taught that individuals could awaken to their inherent enlightenment and work towards creating a more peaceful and harmonious world.
The Gohanzen stands as a powerful symbol of Nichiren's teachings, encapsulating core principles such as the universal Buddha nature, the power of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, and the potential for personal and societal transformation through Buddhist practice. It serves not just as an object of devotion, but as a dynamic tool for self reflection, spiritual growth, and social engagement. By understanding the deep symbolism of the Gohanzen, practitioners can gain profound insights into Nichiren's vision of Buddhism and its relevance to modern life. As we contemplate the Gohanzen and its significance, we are reminded of Nichiren's ultimate goal to help all beings awaken to their inherent Buddha nature and create a world of peace and harmony. The Gohanzen, in its silent eloquence, continues to inspire millions around the world, serving as a beacon of hope and a reminder of the profound potential that lies within each individual to transform their life and contribute to the betterment of society.